in the quarter house. Two accounts. what's going on today i'm going to be teaching you all how to animate ice and fire in a very professional and good looking way now this animation i'm making here isn't quite done yet so i'm just gonna quickly finish that and then we'll get on into the tutorial everybody shake it baby Now, I've been requested several times to make a tutorial on different sorts of effects and I thought, hey, why not start with ice? Because that seems like it's going to be one of the most challenging because there are a lot of mistakes to be made and if you don't put time and effort towards this, you're not going to achieve it. To do this, first you're going to have to create a certain type of stick figure, but not just any stick figure, a stick figure that requires the polyfill option. You're going to make four different segments, like so, and then split the segments, split it completely. Once you're done splitting all the segments and they look kind of like this now, wonky and stretchy, you're going to go to the polyfill option and fill it up with the polyfill. And there you go. Once you filled it with the polyfill and you drag and everything, it gives you this kind of wonky looking box thing. Now here comes the tricky part, to actually achieve this whole ice look, it's going to be a bit tough because the polyfill option when you're using it, it's very hard to use, any slight movement can make the whole ice just fall apart and it looks like trash. Take your time and you can also add new edges to it, in frame 30 wasn't in frame 29 i added it and once you add it you don't forget you have to move every single point of the ice i did it again here for this third ice block as it popped out of the ground it started to grow gradually bigger and eventually this popped out from here it doesn't have to be perfect and it's going to be a bit tough bringing something like this out because if it's not positioned the way mine is positioned when you move something exactly like that this happens something like this could happen because it is polyfill and it is very very wonky when you're trying to animate ice it grows bigger and bigger and bigger until we have our beautiful ice animation this tutorial is a bit short i know but i just I felt I needed to do this because I've seen a lot of comments about it and I know there are a lot of people there whose OCs have ice as a quirk and I'm sure you guys really needed this. Anyway, if the video helped, don't forget to subscribe, drop a thumbs up and share the video with other animators who need help out there.